So the very first thing that strikes my attention here is that I have variables in all of the answer choices, which means I, I may be able to use a strategy called plug in your own number. I don't know yet, but this is definitely a telltale sign that this strategy is useful. So let's check it out. So a bag contains X apples, Y oranges, and Z pears. If one of these fruits is selected at random, what is the probability of selecting a fruit that is not an orange? Okay, so first of all, whenever I see this word probability, right, probability on this test represents what I want in the numerator over what I have in the denominator. Now, what do I have? I have apples, oranges, and pears, which means I have X plus Y plus C, right? That's what I have. Now, what do I want? I want something that is not an orange. Oranges are Y, which means I want either an apple or I want a pear. So these are the things that I could choose from that would not be oranges. And therefore, that must be what our answer is. However, I don't see that listed as an option in this case, which means that um, more than likely it's going to be C or D, and I just need to simplify it to look like this. But let's just backtrack and use the plug in your own number, right? So I should have just done that from the very start. But let's just use that. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to say X apples. So I'm going to say X equals 2. I'm going to say Y equals 3. And I'm going to say Z equals 4. So again, for my probability, I have uh, X plus Y plus Z or 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is 9. And then to not be an orange, I'd have apples and pears, which is 2 plus 4, which is 6. And then 6 over 9 reduces to 2 over 3. There is my probability. Now I want to go to my answer choices now and plug those exact same numbers in to see which one gives me two over three. That's how we play the game of plugging your own number. You plug it into the question, you get a solution, then you plug those exact same numbers into the answer choices to see which one gives you a matching solution. So choice A is X plus Z, which would be six over three, which is two. So that's not two thirds, so that's out. B would be X plus Z, which is six minus Y, which is three. So we have three over X plus Y plus Z, which is uh, nine. So that's one third, not two thirds, so that's out. And then C, be one minus, so y is three, x plus z is six, so that'd be y minus one half. One minus one half is just a half, so that's not two thirds, so that's out. And then lastly, we have d, so that'd be one minus, again, y is three, x plus y plus z is nine, so that becomes one minus one third, which is the same as two thirds, which is the matching answer to what I expected, and therefore choice D is the correct answer.